Hi, so there's no doubt that by now the COVID-19 coronavirus has impacted our communities all around the globe. So physically, mentally, financially, it's been tough. But I'm always committed to focusing on problem solving and sharing solutions to help us moving forward. Hi, I'm Lisa Ladd. I'm a realtor here in Folsom, California. And in this video, I want to share three ways that buyers can protect themselves when they're buying a home in this pandemic environment. So let's get started. Uh, let's see. I want to start by saying that it's totally 100% understandable that with these uncertain times, anyone who's been thinking about planning to purchase a home would take pause. And I just want to clarify that this video is not intended to convince you or anyone that you should buy a home right now. This video is intended for those that are already on course or in the process of buying a home. This was their plan. So even in this pandemic, some people are still in the need of buying a home uh, because it's either maybe a job transfer, retirement, they're moving closer to parents or grandchildren or one of the other many life events that cause people to uh, buy or sell a home. So I imagine that if you need to think about buying a home right now or wanting to, that you're probably asking yourself questions like, how do I see homes when social distancing is a top priority? You know, what happens if I lose my job during escrow? And how am I protected? And how can I protect my earnest money deposit uh, in case there are delays to closing escrow, you know, based on their shutdowns related to the coronavirus? So by the time I'm done with the video, you know, my goal is to provide some insight to you uh, uh, to these questions. Uh, I'd rather have people have information to make decisions through that lens than to make assumptions and miss out on you know, something that could be right for them. So it's all about helping people raise their real estate IQ. So let me share three ways that buyers can protect themselves you know, in a time like this. So the first point I'm going to make is about um, protecting yourself physically instead of being out and about. So during this time when you're being asked to stay inside and distance your, ourselves, uh, you want to consider using technology to your advantage. So this is also going to be applicable once they lift the shelter in place here in uh, Sacramento County and across uh, California or the US. Uh, just because once they lift the shelter in place won't eliminate the challenges of spreading and contracting uh, COVID-19. So first thing you can start by asking your agent if there are any resources like video walkthroughs or Matterport walkthroughs of homes that match your home buying criteria. So Matterport is a 360 degree camera that provides an explorable layout of the home. So you click on there's little circles in the program and it will take you, you know, down the hall, uh, into the bedroom, into other rooms and uh, et cetera. So, and you can explore at your leisure. Um, of course, nothing beats, you know, being there in person but there are also services like FaceTime, Facebook video, or Zoom that allow for video conferencing capabilities so that you can talk with your agent and uh, your agent can walk you through the house and um, you know respond in real time so that you can see the different aspects of the house that aren't apparent in the, the listing photos. And the best part about these services is that they're free and you don't have to run across town or fill up the gas tank. So this is going to allow you to preview uh, properties that you're, that you're most interested in, and then, but from the comfort of your home, your own home and the safety of your home. So therefore you can also, you can eliminate the properties that don't suit your needs without having to leave home. 
and this gives you more time to concentrate on the um, contenders. So I've actually helped other buyers virtually house hunt from other parts of the country who needed to purchase homes remotely. So it worked well then, and this at the same level of service will really work well in this time of social distancing. So the question will be if the seller, the, the one question will be is that if the seller is allowing for showings or if your realtor is able to or willing to go into the home to do the video tour for you. Now I can tell you that I have uh, in place a strict health and financial vetting procedure so that uh, you know we're gonna reduce unnecessary exposure to the seller and agents. So you can ask your agent if they can also provide a 360 recorded tour. So I use a 360 camera when I tour uh, the property and I'm able to walk through the tour as I go and point out different conditions that I see. Um, I can open the closet doors and the pantries uh, that you wouldn't see in still pictures. Then the 360 tour is uploaded to a portal and that you can tour at your convenience. So now let's move on to how are you going to safeguard your earnest money deposit? That's an important one. So let's say you lost a job while you're in contract to purchase a home and or maybe the lender can't fund in a timely manner due to um, a changing lending environment or unforeseen demands due to the pandemic. Well, it's all about having your loan contingencies work for you. So you might want to ask, what is the contingency? Well, the best way I can describe it is a contingency is having the contractual right to cancel escrow and still receive your earnest money deposit. Uh, back to you. So when writing up your offer, you can make your loan contingency span the entire length of your escrow, or you can have your realtor write an addendum to um, your offer that states the loan contingency will be in effect until the loan is funded. So now to address the loss of a job and other situations due to the coronavirus. Um, what I'm going to share is actually kind of hot off the presses. So last week, the California Association of Realtors, who those are who create the forms that we write our offers on, um, created a new coronavirus addendum. So and it addresses the loss of income and other related issues that uh, could possibly impact escrow either being canceled or delayed due to the unforeseen as it relates to the pandemic. So this addendum is part of your offer uh, to give you extra protection. So basically, if you agree to, uh, by the buyer and the seller, that the addendum states the buyer and seller would agree to extend escrow up to 30 days, or you can also determine any other number of days that's agreeable by both parties. Uh, if the buyer and seller agree to the addendum and the buyer or the seller could not perform due to what are considered unforeseen circumstances related to the coronavirus, then either party would be able to cancel the purchase agreement. What are the circumstances? Well, any third party issues such as inspections, appraisal, funding, title or escrow, um, county closure or delays, if a third party is not able to do their job or it's delayed, that would allow an extension. And if after that extension is up and you, know, you couldn't still uh, get escrow closed, either the buyer or the seller could cancel the contract. Um, and in all cases of the cancellation uh, of this contract, this uh, cover is covered under the coronavirus addendum. The buyer will receive the earnest money deposit back, minus any costs incurred by the buyer. However, keep in mind that the addendum was not designed to allow a buyer or seller back out if it was like a little difficult or if they were just a little nervous about what the future 
of the market was going to hold. The intention of the addendum is to allow for a cancellation of the purchase agreement in the event either buyer or seller is unable to close escrow due to issues directly related to the coronavirus and to protect the buyer's earnest money deposit. So these are the protections that the California Association of Realtors have put in place. And I want to say I am a realtor and I cannot and I will not be able to provide legal advice to buyers or sellers. So if you have any questions about um, your legal rights as it relates to the things that I shared in this video, as always, um, I would highly recommend that you, uh, you know, speak, speak to your legal counsel. So the buyers can protect themselves by one, utilizing technology for virtual home tours, two, extending your loan contingency throughout the entire escrow process, and three, using the coronavirus addendum to prevent loss of earnest money and protect against um, delays uh, in case they have to cancel escrow due to the coronavirus. And that goes for sellers as well. I hope you've enjoyed this video and it was helpful. Um, I wanted to take a moment to invite you to check out the description for uh, some helpful resources. So there'll be a link that you can click to download info, like a guide that uh, will include tips and checklists to make for planning for your move a little easier. And I know it might seem a bit hard to believe that, but especially in this case, it is never too early to start planning. Uh, you know, like I said, especially now. So, and if this is something that you like, uh, you like this video and you're watching on YouTube, uh, I know I'm posting this everywhere, but if you're on YouTube, click that subscribe button and um, hit the bell so you can get notified when I, when I share new videos uh, about real estate. And we do that each week. So if you're not watching this on YouTube, consider finding me down there and, and following along. So as always, this video is for people everywhere, but if you are looking to make a move in the Sacramento County area, um, I would uh, love, be happy to be a resource for you. So you can find my contact info in the description below. So uh, be smart and stay safe out there. Uh, um, I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe.